Hey guys, sit here. Sit here. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I low key need to think of like a theme song for when I come on camera. Y'all could just sing it with me, okay? So if y'all got any suggestions for a theme song, let your girl know. <laughs> I'm so corny, but I am about to get ready and leave the house and run some errands on my off day. Um, I've been off for about three days, so day one, day two, I like to just do nothing, chill. So, because I am about to leave the house and run a couple errands, um, I need to do my face anyways. So I decided to, you know, talk to you guys a little bit, see how everything has been going with you guys. I know I haven't filmed in a while. You probably hate me. But I hope not. Because I'm back and I'm better. But seriously, y'all, I don't know why we're already a few months into 2018 already. My months are usually a little bit crazy already. Alright, first of all, let me let me get started because I'll sit here talking all day and then still look like who did it and why by the face. So I'm not really going to tell you guys everything that I'm using because this is just to get ready with me. But if you guys have any questions about something that I use, just let your girl know below in the comments and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, wait, hold on, because I can't do two things at once, apparently. Let me spray my face. I love this freaking Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 primer. You can prime, you can set, and you can refresh. This is like my go-to holy grail at work. Flying up there, you know, 37,000 feet in the air. Your skin gets dry, girl. Be feeling like a dang on crocodile's butt. So, I like to spray this before my makeup after my makeup and when I just want a little bit of a, a pick me up. Spray on away. I need to moisturize my face too because your girl is dry as all heck. Sometimes I go crazy with the moisturizer so I really gotta, I'm gonna put it on my dang old tongue. I'm just all over the place today y'all, bear with me. Nobody got time for dry skin. I feel like before my skin used to be oily and then it switched to dry. Now I have combo skin, combination. So depending on what I'm doing for the day or what month it is or what season it is, my skin can be dry or it can be oily to the point where I look like I just poured some vegetable oil in a pot and just stuck my face in there. Either that or I just went and took a shower in a grease bucket. It looks gross. So I really have to change my skincare products depending on the season and it's so annoying because makeup is not cheap makeup is really not cheap i promise y'all and if you wear makeup if you are a girly girl then you already know what's up so today i'm gonna wear my maybelline fit me foundation this one actually is the matte and poreless normal to greasy which is cool for me because sometimes i'm normal sometimes i'm greasy you feel me so I am a 340 and y'all, this is my go-to foundation, okay? I wear this foundation when I'm just running out, running new errands, but when I'm about to like pop out on the scene and I'm looking super good, glamorous, this is my go-to freaking foundation. It's so amazing. The color fits me perfectly. I'm a 340 and it's just really good. I get it from Walmart, Walmart, but they sell it at Walgreens too, but Walmart is like $6, y'all. I'm not being funny, not being funny. I already primed my face with the spray. I feel like doing a spray today because I feel like my skin is kind of um, super dry today. Usually I will use a, I will use my Benefit Poreless Primer. It looks like this, it's more of a cream, but I feel like because my skin is kind of dry today that the cream would just, it would just go on top of my skin and I'm not about that life. Don't y'all hate how sometimes you could be having an amazing skin day and then as soon as you're about to go somewhere, a pimple pops up. That's been my life today. Pimple just will not let me live. So as I was saying earlier, I can't believe that we are a few months into the new year already. Y'all, I really feel like I just celebrated New Year's yesterday. Not even being funny. I feel like I just celebrated New Year's. And I'm not one of those people to do the whole new year, new me. I'm about to do this. You know, I'm about to be a workout guru. I'm about to make a million dollars. I'm not one of those people because I feel like for me, when I give myself unrealistic, ex 
unrealistic expectations and then I don't reach them, I feel like I kind of fall short and then I feel beyond disappointed in myself, right? So I like to give myself realistic expectations with the, the thought process that I will surpass my expectations that I gave myself. Does that make sense? And it's not because I feel like I'm shooting below. Like I'm not, I'm not giving all that I got. I'm not making realistic expectations. But if I say I'm going to do 10 miles every day, the one day that I do 7 miles, I'm low-key going to feel like, dang, I'm a failure. So I try to give myself realistic expectations and then push myself, push myself to do more. If I say, all right, Sid, I am going to do three miles today, and then I do my, my three miles on Monday, do my three miles on Tuesday, and then Wednesday comes and your girl did five miles. I feel proud of myself. I feel like, oh, okay, look at me, check me out. Surpassing my goals. It just makes me feel really good versus the other way around. So I did make a few things on my list that I wanted to do better. This is look, this is how long it's been since I've talked to you guys, right? We're like a few months into the new year. Don't judge me though, y'all. I've been busy. I promise I've been busy. My schedule has been crazy. My work schedule has been uh crazy as well. That schedule is usually always crazy because of you know my job. It's not a regular nine to five. So every month we actually have to bid for our schedules. So for the most part, I get what I want off, but then sometimes, you know, depending on your seniority, you're not always as lucky. I like to, for the most part, get my weekends off though, because I have FOMO, fear of missing out, and I always feel like things go down on the weekends and I'm at work looking crazy, not wanting to be at work. So it's so annoying. Y'all, I get so off topic. What in the world was I just talking about? <laughs> what did I just say? Help me out. Ah! I don't know. I can't really remember. So yeah, I may do something today. It's a random weekday, so I'm not really sure. Y'all remember, you know, college, I went to HBCU, and there was literally always something to do. I don't even think we had any any uh, shame and saying, oh my God, y'all, it's a Tuesday, it's a Wednesday. It was like, okay, so we still go out, still drink, still do this, still still do that, and then still be at class 8 a.m. the next morning. I don't know how I was ever able to hang like that at all. My skin has been doing okay, but ugh, today, this pimple, this pimple right here, ah! so annoying because it's standing out and I feel like when I have pimples I feel like people make eye contact and look right at my pimple so that's annoying your girl needs to clean her brushes only when I'm doing stuff like this I'm like yeah really sad and I do clean them don't judge me I clean them like every few days depending on how much I use them because my skin is super sensitive and I know that if I keep throwing my makeup brushes and my beauty blenders just randomly back into the bag it's going to be disgustingly dirty and then i'm just putting bacteria back on my face so it's so annoying so when i get done talking to y'all guess what i'm about to go do wash my brushes you got it i tried to tie my hair back for this look at this now my ear looks like a dumbo ear but it'll be okay So I've just been in a really good a good mood and a good headspace lately. And I know it's only because my relationship with God is flourishing more. And I'm not really a big religious person, but when my boyfriend and I first started dating, he got me into church, if that makes sense. I used to go to church, don't get me wrong, but it used to be more so like for holidays or like Easter. Um, and things like that but being with him he got me into going church more I even joined the church and I feel like since then my life has just taken a toll for the better I'm not gonna lie I feel like 2017 was the best year of my life I feel like I just grew so much as a person and I'm not even where I want to be as of yet but overall your girl is lit I cannot lie so I'm super excited to see what What's up with 2018? 
Am I the only person that when I put on concealer, I end up doing like an ugly ghost face? Like, oh, uh, like a zombie face? Not sure if this face helps the concealer get up in there. But. But yeah. So I'm also going to probably do my hair, throw some curls on my hair. See how it looks. I haven't curled my hair in a while since I got my hair done. Probably like a week ago. So we are going to see. Y'all, I really love this freaking foundation. The way it just smooths. It makes your skin look so flawless. But not like a fake flawless, you know? Even though I'm all down for not being natural. I ain't gonna lie. I don't have time to be looking all natural. I want to look beat by the gods every time I put on my face. Don't care. So I'm just going to set my under eye real quick. One time for the one time. I feel like I need some vitamin C in my life. I need to go to somebody's beach. I just looked out of my window a few minutes ago, y'all, and it was so, so depressing. I feel like I don't remember the last time that, I, that I've seen sun. And it's so annoying. Because I like sun. I want to be cute, wear cute clothes, and just feel good. You never know how much you need sun and what it does for your mood until you look outside and you instantly get depressed. Times like this, when it's winter, I'm like, why do I live where my face hurts? And why do I live where I can walk outside and don't feel like, ah, yes, sun, I'm ready to start my day. It's so annoying. I guess that's one of the good things of my job because I can just change locations like that. But, yeah. Lately, I've been feeling so, so depressed. And I know it's because of the weather. Because bad weather is depressing. You ever notice how when you go to Florida or, you know, go to somebody's island, how as soon as you step off the plane, no matter what you were going through before, you instantly feel like, yes, I want that feeling. I want that, that deep exhale type feeling. And your girl has not been getting it. So that's kind of depressing. I ain't gonna let it get me down. No, no, no. Because I'm like addicted to the spray, I'm gonna just spray some on in between putting them on makeup. Because I just I'm just addicted to it. And y'all, it smells so good. What does it smell like? Silicone free, alcohol free, oil free. We love your skin even when you don't. Okay, because right now your girl is not loving her skin. With that thing right there, I'm going to name him, I'm going to name him Pony. Poppy. Poppy Pony or something like that. Now, my eyelashes are very naturally curly. I really want some eyelash extensions, but I feel like I don't even want to add that to my maintenance bill. Because my maintenance bill is already through the roof. The roof is on fire. So I don't even want to add anything else to my maintenance bill because they're already naturally curly. But man, when I see some of you guys with your eyelash extensions, y'all, it makes me just want to run, run out, run out and go find somebody to do mine, okay? Then it's always just so fluttery and so long and so just bomb. Ugh. So I'm about to just throw some mascara on real quick. I know I'm not the only one, y'all. I've been such a procrastinator the last few weeks, actually like the past month and a half. And I realized the hardest thing for me to do is actually getting started when I say I wanted to do something. When I say I want to do something, the hardest part is actually getting started to do it. And it's so annoying because once I get started doing it, I'm doing it. And it becomes like a routine to me. But the hardest part is actually getting started. Like, we are our worst. I don't know about you guys, but I am my worst critique. I am my worst critic. I spend so many weeks like, uh, you can't do that. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe she'll wait. Wait till you get this. Wait till you get that. To the point where I will never do it. I look up three months later and I still haven't started. Self-doubt. That is one thing in 2018 that I want to eliminate. That's my self-doubt because I doubt myself so, so much, okay? At work, in life, in just videos. And it's not that I don't think I'm capable. It's just when I do things, I want it to be so perfect that I overthink it to the point where I don't even end up doing it. I feel like if I don't have this camera, or if I don't have this setup, or if I don't have this, I can't do it. And it's basically, that's the devil. That's like I have one little devil man on my shoulder, and then I got, you know, the real me, the ambitious me over here. And sometimes devil me is talking like, just wait till next week. 
Next week turns into next month. Next month turns into three months from now. And it's so annoying because we all have the ability to do whatever we want to do. We put our minds to it. So, in 2018, I am eliminating the self-doubt. That's my goal. If I say I want to do something, if I actually wrote it down, because for me, I can't just say like, oh, I think about doing this. I actually have to see it, touch it, feel it. I'm one of those learners. I was about to curl my hair. I realized that I didn't need it. My hair is already pretty curly from when I got it done a few days ago. So I really don't need to, but I do like body. So I like to kind of just open it up a little bit, you know. So, after I go put on some earrings, I will be ready for the world. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you guys have not liked, subscribed, thumbs up, all of that, make sure you guys please do. I thank you guys so much for the support. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to check out Sunset Sid. Also, follow me on social media. Bum, ba, da, my Snapchat name is in my bio down below. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video <laughs> i promise that i'm going to talk to you guys more in the meantime let me go put on some earrings because i always feel like i look like a little boy when i don't have on earrings <laughs>